అందరికీ వెల్కమ్ టు మన టీవీ స్పెషల్ లైవ్ షో గురుకుల ఈ రోజు గురుకుల్లో భాగంగా మ్యాథ్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ కి సంబంధించి రివ్యూ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ పెడగాలజీ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం దీని గురించి మరింత డీటెయిల్స్ మీకు ఇవ్వడానికి మనతో ఉన్నారు సురేష్ కుమార్ గారు సబ్జెక్ట్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ పరిచయం చేసుకుందాం నమస్తే అండి సో హౌ టీచింగ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటికల్ ఇస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు డైలీ లైఫ్ సిచ్యువేషన్స్ ఓకే సో మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ హావ్ ఫైవ్ ఏరియాస్ వన్ ఇస్ అర్థమెటిక్స్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఇస్ ఆల్జిబ్రా థర్డ్ వన్ ఇస్ జోమెట్రీ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ మెన్సురేషన్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ డేటా హ్యాండ్లింగ్ ఇన్ అర్థమెటిక్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ నెంబర్ సిస్టమ్ సో జనరలీ వీ యూజ్ ద నెంబర్స్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ లైక్ సో వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ దెర్ ఈజ్ నో యూజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సే ఇట్స్ ఎ న్యూమర్కల్ సింబల్ ఇఫ్ యూ సే టూ యాపిల్స్ టెన్ ఆరెంజెస్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మ్యాంగోస్ లైక్ దెన్ ఓన్లీ దట్ నెంబర్ హ్యాస్ అ మీనింగ్ మీన్స్ వితౌట్ డైలీ లైఫ్ సిచ్యువేషన్ మ్యాథ్స్ హ్యాస్ నో మీనింగ్ అండ్ వీ కాంట్ సే మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ without daily life situation also okay. this is interrelated so be, both sides of the same coin okay so that's our application and for example if you want to represent uh, uh, various floors in a shopping mall we'll take the ground level as zero and other is um, as 1 2 3 4 above the ground level and below the ground level which are in the cell, uh, cellar okay for parking purposes so we will say minus 1 minus 2 minus so like each and everywhere we use the numbers so numbers has a good application means arithmetic has a application in arithmetic you are going to learn some more concepts also like uh, percentages profits time and distance all these uh, generally we are using in a day daily life situation of course we call it as a commercial mathematics a business mathematics also this commercial mathematics business mathematics business already we are saying it's one of the social activity perform it means uh, it is a uh, connected with the daily life situation like when you go for the other other algebra so if you want to explain uh, about uh, algebra if you want to know the motion of uh, any uh, projected body recently our uh, isro projected one of the satellite so th- the path if you want to know the path of the satellite there is a an application called as a quadratic equation like algebra as its own application when you consider geometry so geometry means here you know that if you want to construct a building how much plinth area we are going to be constructed and what are the other places you are going to construct it so this will be called it as a survey so the surveyor will use the mathematical concepts even the construction of mesh signs so like like any one if you trace a maths has a, a good application of it okay and where you come into the other one is the data handling so there you have statistics and probability and the statistics you know that for example if you want to know uh, a shoe size or a chappal size of a particular age of people so we will use the 6th 7th 8th 9th number like okay when you say these numbers means that this is called a mode mode of the data for example if something is given you want to e- e- equally want to distribute it so we will say it's a mean of that okay if you want to know the maximum things of uh, a given expression so there we use the median like uh, everywhere we are using mathematics of course uh, uh, some areas maths has a good uh, direct application and some areas maths doesn't have direct application but everywhere the application of it even not only with the daily life situation even with other subjects also for example if you want to apply for the what is the speed of a vehicle okay. so uh, how much acceleration it was raised so or if you want to say uh, what is the relation between a pressure and volume like anything in the physical science in a in a higher classes the physical science will be called as an applied mathematics okay and physical science in higher classes will called applied math applied maths and maths will be in the higher classes called applied physics oh so they are interrelated so like uh, maths is not an abstract and it is connected with our daily life and other subjects of sciences also that's an application of uh, daily life situation for the maths teaching okay so what are the economic standards in math- mathematics and uh, how they are interrelated yeah so economic standard is uh, generally recently in 2014 we introduced a new system called it as continuous comprehensive evaluation that is cc in the cc we conducted uh, two kinds of assessments one is called a formative assessment and other one is called summative assessment so we want to assess the children in a comprehensive way so there are some tools are required okay so if you want to use this tool some academic standards are required these academic standards in the mathematics subject are problem solving first one second one is reasoning and proof 
third one is mathematical communication, fourth one is mathematical connections and fifth one is representation and visualization. So, here problem solving means here every problem comes under the problem solving only. Then what is the difference between this problem solving and other uh, academic standards means here? If there is some specifications are there, in general problem solving, if the procedure gives the more importance that academic standard will be considered as a problem solving. For reasoning, for logical thinking, uh, for analysis, it takes more important than the uh, procedure then we call it as a reasoning. For example, justify your answer or whether it is correct or not, support your answer by writing a proper solution. Like the question asked then it comes under the reasoning and proof. And the third one you know that mathematical communications. Maths is a sign, maths is a language actually. So, every language have words, sentences, interrelation between these. So, maths also needs some symbols, some words, some sentences. So, if the children is able to express in terms of uh, that symbols only, then the then only it is possible to get the answer. So, communication is very, very important. For example, if you want to use the product of three consecutive natural numbers is divisible by 6. Like if you want to write the uh, sentences of all mathematical concepts, it take much more like a, a refer reference book. So, some symbolic representation is. So, 6 divides n of n plus 1 of n plus 2. So, if you say like this is called mathematical communication. So, once you, when the children is perfect in mathematical communication or it is teacher also, then it is easy to uh, transact the concepts in the classroom situation. So, mathematical communication is a very important. And now, come to the mathematical connection. Just now, the previous question is how the mathematics is connected with the daily life situation. So, there it is a daily life situation. Here, we will consider not only daily life situation, that and also uh, intra relation means uh, how it is connected between their, their areas. Okay. means and other subjects, other disciplines also. That comes under the mathematical connections. And the finally, a representation and visualization. So, representation visualization means here, uh, so the children is able to represent the information, the data in terms of a pictorial information. For example, if it is a set theory, he has to represent in the Venn diagram. For example, it is a algebra, he has to represent as a straight line or a parabola or ellipse on a graph sheet. For example, it is statistics, it has to represent a bar graphs or uh, pi diagrams or histograms or cumulative curves on graph sheets. For example, it is geometry, it has to construct with respect to data, the figure will be constructed. So, all this comes under the representation visualization and it has to visualize. For example, a right triangle is uh, rotating around uh, itself, then what will happen? When the right triangle rotate around itself, a cone will form. Mm -hmm. When a rectangle rotate itself, a spinning around itself, a sphere will form. He has to visualize things. So, that academic standard is said to be a representation within. Here, some creativity is very, very important. Okay. So, what are the different methods of teaching strategy in mathematics? Yeah. So, this is the most important area. Actually, uh, what you are asking, uh, these are the questions comes uh, in our examination. So, like because you are going to write as a descriptive manner, so you have to write uh, as synopsis. Uh, so, method of teaching is very, very important. So, we have previously the ancient method is a lecture method. The lecture method is not suitable for uh, uh, primary level and secondary level, because uh, that here the teacher or the lecturer is most active and the student is passive. The second one is a lecture demonstration method, means uh, sometimes uh, the teacher has to demonstrate some activity or perform a project or perform a folding technique. By performing all these, if the teacher is going to be transact the concepts, then we call it as a, it is a lecture demonstration method. Other one is called analytical method. So, analytical method means he has to analyze the total concept, what is given, what is the given data in the question, that is the most important, or what is the given concept in the uh, particular content. So, there uh, the theme is, it is there is a shift from abstractism to constructism. So, abstract to concrete or uh, RTP to hypothesis, this is called analysis, analytical method. And one more method you call it a synthetic method. A synthetic method is quite opposite to that. It has to synthesize this, uh, the whole the thing, means here from concrete to abstract, means mm -hmm. sometimes we are using a, a formula. So, he has to analyze that, what is the given information, how to substitute it, like he come to that. Okay, from uh, a specific to generalization, we will call it as uh, simply as analytical and generalization to specific is called as synthetic. 
And one more method is a very important method, 90 percent of mathematical problems done by this method only, it is called induction method. And the other one is a deduction method. Induction method means here uh, simply to unknown to known, but uh, in the deduction method is known to unknown. So, when you generalize the patterns, it is called induction. When you use the formula to find the answer of our problem, then it is called deduction. We know that maths is completely based on these two. We have to derivate, derive the formulas that is comes under the induction. By using the formulas, you have to solve the given question or problem. It is comes under the deduction. So, induction and deduction both are very important. These are the two methods. Here the teacher has a discrimination power to where we will use the induction and where we will use the deduction. Okay. And one more method is project method. Okay. So, this project method is also very important because uh, now we are using a project as a tool in it. In the project method means here how to solve it, what are the resources are required, how to plan, how to construct it, how to interpret it by uh, to know what is given, what is required and what outcome will come. For, out, for getting that specific outcome, what we have to do? All this comes in the project. There are some steps, you know that that's project method is very important. And one more is called heuristic method. Heuristic, we know that heuristic means here, uh, I find, means the children has to innovate or discover the things. Here the teacher will help him. So, he will give a situation. By the situation, the children has to investigate the solution. Finally, he come to a conclusion and himself, he says, I heuristic that, means I find this. It is a child centered method and scientific method. Generally, this heuristic method used in uh, uh, research level, not in uh, school levels. These are the few methods of teaching and strategies. Okay. So, uh, what is CC and how it is going to be implemented by uh, present scenario? Yeah. So, yeah. recently CC is uh, applied for uh, Telangana state. Okay. And uh, now the same CC method is adapted by CBSE also. So, this is a very important. So, proudly we can announce that uh, most of the people feel that there is a myth also it is called. We copied the CC from the CBSE method, but uh, so the CBSE people from 2016-17 academic year onwards, they are, they are following our CC method. So, I said CC means here continuous comprehensive evaluation. So, in the evaluation aspect, if you want to say uh, with respect to uh, education, it is child centered education and the child is a very important thing. The textbook has written for the child and the teacher is the facilitator. So, we do not want to give much more uh, examination burden to the children. So, it is a continuous evaluation, it may be oral, it may be written. So, for that reason we decided so two kinds of assessment. So, very important thing is three words are there, one is called examination, second one is assessment, third one is evaluation. In the narrow sense, everyone feels that all the three are same, they are called it as synonyms, okay. but uh, all these three are different, okay. interrelated, but different. different. Examination means here just in a particular specific period for in two and a half years, hours, this simply the examination will come, it is a paper pencil test. So, it is based on completely on the rote learning or the memory based, memory testing it is. There is, it is not an assessment. Okay. When you use an assessment means here, we will use various tools to observe. Okay, we will observe the observation skills, we will observe the analytical skills, we will observe the logical skills, we will observe the writing skills, we will observe the presentation skills like so many things are there, so many tools are there. By using tools, if you understand, if you assess a children, that will be called an assessment, it is not an examination, okay. but it has the specific properties like examination. Oh. When you come into the next one, evaluation, it is a holistic word and examination and assessment will comes under this. So, we will, will, we will test the children not only in curricular areas, in co-curricular areas also. Okay. So, some children are good in expression. So, they, they will, uh, we will call it as a tacky tool. So, simply they can present anything uh, without yeah. any kind of fear. Some children knows it, but he is unable to express they it. They cannot present. Yeah. So, some children can draw it very well. Mm -hmm. So, they can represent in a pictorial form, but they are unable to uh, get the solution in okay. a procedure manner. So, like, uh, so some, every children good in a particular aspect. So, this uh, evaluation means it is integrate all the things by using different tools. Okay. 
So, we will be using formative assessment and summative assessment, two kinds of assessments we are using this. Okay. In the formative assessment, we use uh, some, we will give a project to the children through the project. So, interaction skills will develop, coordination mm. skills will develop yeah. and you will analyze and uh, interpret it. Yeah. So, that skills will be, the that's, that's one. Another one we call it as a writing, written test we call it as. Written test mm -hmm. means uh, how is uh, writing for a particular uh, conditions, uh, situations. Mm -hmm. What is the expressions? What are the reflections? That's a very important. And one more is creating questions. So creating questions means uh, himself only has created yeah. a question. So that's very important. They have Ra to think. Yeah. So when the children are uh, able to create a question, if, if he knows the concept properly mm -hmm. and when he have the exact only, concept and clarity. Yeah. Then only they can create a question. Yeah. That's a creating question. Yeah. Means you are, we are observing whether the children understand the concepts properly as the first one and how is uh, writing his reflections yes. and how is interact with the other people. And how they are putting in words. Yeah. So, uh, in, a, in a totally integrated way, we are uh, testing the children. So, that is called evaluation. Okay. So, here we are uh, shifting from examination system to evaluation system. So, that is called okay. a CC. In CC is now, it is a very useful. We already, we introduced in the 2014 year and it is a fourth year. Okay. We are using the CC and uh, what the survey says that uh, it is a very good. Um, so, the children will enjoy this uh, CC method, but the myth in the uh, society is it is they feel that it is one of the strategy in education system, okay. but it is not in a strategy in education system, it is an evaluation system. Mm -hmm. So, that is uh, most important. So, the okay. people should know that it is an evaluation system and it is not, not meant for uh, educational system. Means. Okay. Uh, as one of the teaching method or uh, teaching learning method. Okay. Yeah. So, now uh, what is uh, ICT and what are the its tools? Yeah. So, uh, maybe the last class all of you uh, listen about ICT. So, okay. So, I conclude at ICT. So, the total mathematical pedagogy oh. is concluded by uh, explanation of ICT. Okay. So, actually ICT means here uh, it is uh, information and communication technology. So, in information communication technology, you know that there is a, a shift from antiquated uh, ICT to uh, cut-edged ICT. Maybe these words are new to you. The f yesterday, I explained these things also. Uh, antiquated uh, ICT tools means here, uh, simply previously we are giving uh, uh, radio lessons by using uh, television, also we are giving the lessons. So, these are called antiquated uh, uh, ICT tools even um, sometimes the posters also maximum uh, at the time all the people are depends on radio lessons means the, we gave the very, very important for the audio not okay. video part oh. okay and we are using some uh, television part also and even uh, a landline telephone also one of the ICT tool okay uh, after that so as uh, now we call it as our era as digital era we are in the digital yes. era in a fifth class, uh, fifth, five years age children also can operate a smartphone. Yes. So, he knows the technology, science and technology is a very proper. So, there is a shift even in the classroom transaction also. Even they know better than us. Yeah, absolutely. So, so the teaching strategy also should be changed. That is a very important. Mm. Now, we are using uh, the smartphones, iPhones and KN projectors, uh, laptop computers. Recently, Google Chromebooks also given to the children. Okay. One of the school, uh, actually my basic school is, uh, I am the headmaster for Vijayanagar Go Government High School okay. and I am working for SCRT. Okay. So, uh, this is my school is the first school uh, selected for uh, Google okay. and uh, all the children has Google Chromebooks. Oh. Each, uh, so, uh, children will learn the concept through uh, Google Chromebooks okay. and we have KN projectors also. A government school children is learning with the uh, KN projector and Google Chromebook means uh, how much uh, shift is coming in the learning uh, teaching process you maybe yes. you understand easily. Yes. Okay, now in this uh, cutted means here generally we are using all these things like uh, uh, laptop computers, smartphones, uh, KN projectors. Yes. Okay, for this our government also used uh, some si uh, systems and institutions also. For us, uh, in especially in uh, every state, they have SIET site, okay. State Institute of Educational Tools. They develop some uh, recorded classes and live classes, and okay. they will give it in the uh, in the form of uh, DVDs or CDs to all schools. This okay. is the one thing. And another one is, of course, SoftNet. 
then yes. just now we are observing it's yes. uh, they are providing a live classes yes not only for school children even for would uh, competitive aspirants also yes so like and this is also comes under the ICT tools mm -hmm. and uh, we gave the all schools for the what you call it as KN projectors okay. and some information given in the uh, uploaded information is given in the hard disk okay. by using hard disk and KN projectors the teacher can explain each class and one more we recently used to call it as uh, fabs fab means here it, it it's a digital content in the two forms one is called a pdf form another one is the digital form so the children can use these in both ways pdf form the textbook is given in the pdf form he can read the the total lessons where he feels a difficulty if he touches uh, there is a window will form and the window they will explain of course it will explain the meaning of that word and uh, relative information of us. Okay. That's called PDF format. So, where is another one? Digital. The textbook is digitalized. Mm. That's called yes. FAB. And uh, recently, another one more method we used uh, that is called flipped classrooms. Okay. So, flipped classrooms is an advanced uh, teaching learning method which mm. is used in riverside schools. Okay. Throughout the world, more than uh, 1048 schools are there. Okay. So, in these schools what the teaching methodology applied for it, so they will play one DVD having a content for the required class. Okay. So, for 20 minutes, out of 40 minutes or 20 minutes a DVD will play of course, about the concept which is in the visual form or audio form or anything that is. Okay. All the children will observe that, even the teacher also. After 20 minutes, the children will start uh, a debate of that. Okay. There will be a brainstorming session will be takes place. Okay. All the children discuss what they perceive, what they understand. Okay. After that, so here the very important role for the teacher is you should not stand like a statue. He has to mm. observe has how to the observe. children are respond. Yes. Okay. If there is, a, of course, uh, uncontrolled uh, discussion is going, he has to control. Okay. So he has to control like a cadmium rods in a nuclear reactor. Okay. You know that a nuclear reactor is a very useful thing to produce yes. electricity. Yes. By operating cadmium rods in a proper way, if it's not happens, it becomes as an atom bomb. Yes. So, that will happen in 1987 in Chernobyl. Children will solve, will yeah. also just like an atom. Yeah, so, so <laughs> that is also. So, so, we have to control that discussion that is very, very yes. important. In the meantime, the teacher has to write the okay. important points on the board as okay. a synopsis. Okay. Okay. Then finally, that will take say 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, 20, 10, 30 minutes will be over. Minutes, the last 15 minutes used for the uh, sum up like what we are doing now. So, okay. he will explain what are the things already uh, observed from them, uh, how okay. many children they answered it, where they feel the difficulty, okay. Okay, whether the total uh, content will be covered by this discussion, okay. like he has to sum up. That is called okay. flipped classrooms. Okay. So, this is a very important because uh, in this system, uh, the children are participating, yes. first one, this yes. is very important, yes. first teacher also participating. Yes and uh, most advanced technology is used. Yes. So, all will give the integrated learning process. Okay. So, it comes in the ICT. Yes. The very interesting thing is ICT means here out of 7.4 billion people in the world, uh, nearly 4 billion people does not have the accessibility of internet. Oh. These okay. are statistics given by the UNESCO. Okay. And only 1.1 uh, billion people have the accessibility to net mm, just uh, high speed internet. Okay. So, means uh, the because of the reason is uh, they does not have ICT tools. Okay. So, the all the countries has to develop their uh, ICT yes. tools definitely that will uh, because we are in the digital era. Yes. And these smart modes and everything makes uh, the total world as a global village. Yes. So, we can interact all these things through ICT. So, ICT plays a vital role. Even our daily life uh, is yeah. connected with uh, gadgets only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, gadgets. so, without gadgets, uh, so they will keep uh, yeah. uh, like <laughs> their body parts. It becomes yeah. a body part, part it's of a, the body. It is a simple. main remote. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is a very, very important. So, yeah. if a uh, teacher <coughs> should know this technology. Recently, we gave the training on ICT okay. for all the teachers through SCRT okay. uh, for three months. Mm, there, we learned, of course, uh, all the teachers. So, one software called Ubuntu. Okay. So, that Ubuntu will help the teacher to make a video, to edit the video, or to uh, or, uh, to modify the video, all okay. the things will be done. Okay. So, so, what is this Ubuntu? Ubuntu is one of the software like software. MS Office. Okay. It is a Ubuntu is one of the software. Okay. So, that is easy to access because, uh, so there is a legal issue for in the uh, collecting or uh, downloading any 
photograph or video mm. from the sources because so downloading one video and just a little bit of editing and if we can put our name also it's legally wrong because okay. we are uh, thefting the intellectual property yes. that's a very important thing so we should okay. not mm, theft the intellectual property yes. so for that reason so they prepared we call it as uh, a right that is called whether it is a open source or not mm. we have to search for yes. it when it is a open source, how to know that it's a open source means here there will be comes as a it comes as a, a, a label as a CC a creative commercial. Mm. When it comes as a creative commercial, it's a open source, so we can edit, we can use it for our uh, personal purposes also. Otherwise, we have to take the permission from the author or the creator of that particular video or the diagram. So mm. we have to know all these things. All these things comes under the ICT. Okay. This is about ICT. Okay. So, please tell about uh, mathematical history. Yeah. So, we, uh, as a mathematics teacher, we know about uh, maths history. Yes. We know that we have Aryabhata, Varaha Mihra, Charaka, Chanikya, and um, Ram Srinivas, Ramanujan, uh, um, Mehalnobis, like so many mathematicians at our uh, uh, country. The zero was invented by our Indians. Yes. And uh, even uh, the weight of uh, our earth is assessed by our Indians. And the radius of earth is assessed by our Indians, uh, like even the progression concept uh, also invented by uh, Aryabhatta, and he has written in Aryabhatta EM. And algebra was uh, maximum part was contributed by Bhaskaracharya. He has uh, written one of the book is called Leelavati Ganitam. There you use the Biza Ganit, of course, we call it as algebra as, as a Biza Ganit also. Means mm -hmm. here, so we <coughs> developed, and uh, mostly uh, we can proudly say. The numericals which are used for counting that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 are called numbers. These numbers are uh, actually Hindu numbers. Of course, uh, it is uh, invented by our Indians. Yes. Later it is developed by Arabics. So, okay. that says our system a Hindu Arabic system. Okay. So, means here uh, the um, foundation was given by our Indian mathematicians. Okay. And of course, uh, uh, if you uh, like take an any examination, international examination, so, our Indians stood first yes. because we have good IQ power in mm. the mathematics uh, manipulations and uh, calculations power. Such a uh, good study to us and so many mathematicians have contributed their services and you know that now we are in a high leading position in the astronauts and astrophysics. Recently, we projected 104 uh, satellites and now 34 satellites. So, we are creating history yes. because of we have good mathematical basics. Yes. So, that is a very important and uh, one more uh, any branch of mathematics whether it is an algebra or arithmetics or geometry or mensuration or uh, data handling. So, everywhere our Indian mathematician contribution is there. Yes. Okay. As an Indian we feel proud about our Definitely. mathematical history. Definitely. That is a very important. Okay. So, what is the nature of mathematics? Yeah. So, the um, mathematics uh, actually there is a myth. Mathematics feels that mathematics is the a dry subject, mm. and maths is so some of them feel that maths is phobia. So, <laughs> actually, I feel that I I doesn't know maths, sir. So, I am poor in mathematics. Okay. Uh, any children feels uh, maths is uh, difficult. Yes. Because Even of teacher. Because of teacher, <laughs> okay. but not uh, a student. Okay. Every children born with the same IQ level yeah. and every children is good at mathematics. Okay. But uh, if the teacher uh, adopted strategies are wrong, then the children feels maths is a difficult. Yes. So, already we discussed a few of the concept how to teach uh, a mathematics in the easiest way. So, maybe you are uh, you those uh, uh, programs, then maths is available. Here the maths teacher has to take uh, some important strategies. Already I said, uh, just uh, I shared with uh, the viewers, when I visited one of the uh, Dune school at Bangalore, I asked a few of the children, why, which is your favorite subject? Maximum children uh, said, uh, science is my favorite subject or uh, language is my favorite subject and social studies is my favorite subject, but no one says mathematics is their favorite subject. Yes. Uh, so, I ask it because basically I am a mathematics teacher. So, uh, I feel little bit of jealousy and I ask it why <laughs> you feel maths is a difficult. They said so very good answers. One of the children said, Sir, when my teacher entered into the classroom, 
uh, he will start the lesson like today I am going to explain very important lesson in point of examination. You have to listen it carefully, otherwise you will fail in the examination. Oh, okay. Like a, uh, a slide in the horror movie. <laughs> okay. So if you <laughs> see the X, yeah, in the X and channel, the first slide in the horror movie <laughs> is a very horror. <laughs> of course, after uh, going on, there is no horror anything. But like when the teacher announced that this chapter is very difficult and very important in point of examination, who sitting in the last bench, who feels that <laughs> maths is a difficult, he yes. will decide at the time. So definitely. I am unable to understand for that reason. Mm, yes. So, if I listen it or not listen, then there is no All use of it. Fixed. Yeah, their mindset will be fixed like. Yes. So, that is one of the reasons. I said, okay, it is a, uh, a problem in uh, adopted methodology or strategy by the teacher. Then mm -hmm. another guy said, sir, uh, my maths teacher said, uh, okay, sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 and secant square theta minus sin square theta equal to 1, cosecant square theta minus cot <laughs> square theta equal to 1. So, these are the trigonometric identities. You have to by heart all this. Within oh. 10 minutes, I will start the problem. So, so okay. this in this way, they will explain. Yes. So, he never heard a sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 anywhere in his daily so life what situation. Is theta? Then what is theta here yes. and what is sin and what is cos? Yes. So, it is there is no meaning. So, that is the reason the children is not interested to listen it carefully. Definitely. Whereas, the physical science teacher, so if you want to explain some, uh, what call it as a velocity or time. They will uh, explain with an example. Yeah. So, uh, see the, they are in the playground, the children are playing cricket. Hmm. So, the batsman is uh, hitting the bat, yes. ball, okay, bowler balls it and the fielder want to catch it. So, hmm. there is some process going on, are you observe okay. it? So Some imagination is going. Yeah. On. So if the ch if the uh, fielder want to catch the ball, yes. just he pull his hands a little bit to towards his body and yes. put it down. Okay. What is the reason? So can you hold directly? So the children will say, then we hold doesn'tly directly. It's not possible, sir. What yes. is the reason? We will get a pain, much more pain, huh. sir. So much more pain, sir. So if the ball gives some time to get rest. Definitely, the strain will reduce us on? Yes. yes, sir. So, it is called impulse. Hmm. So, when the ball comes, uh, takes a little bit of time, when you jump in a sand uh, flow, you won't get much pain. When you jump on uh, what concrete um, flow, you will get pain, pain because the foot will come <laughs> immediately rest on concrete flow, hmm. and uh, in sand flow, the, our foot will dip it into sink it into some more some distance. Will yeah, some distance will be so it takes much more time than the cement flow. Mm. So here time increases, applied force decreases, so pain will be decreased. So like mm. you will say, even biological science teacher also said. So when you feel hungry, what is your uh, perception, sir? When I feel hungry, there is some sounds will comes in my stomach. <laughs> so are you sense yes. it? Okay, I am yes. sensing those things. How? Some sounds means here like uh, when you pour, uh, you know, in water, the <laughs> bubbles will come, so, you know, like it happens. Uh. Okay. So, at the time what will you do? Then when I have the water or something means, then I feel comfortable. Can you say the reason? So, here uh, in inside the stomach there is a uh, uh, hydrochloric acid will be released. Mm -hmm. We have the water inside also. Yes. When you hydrochloric added, uh, chlor chloride acid. is added to the water, so bubbles will come. Mm -hmm. It is a cause of sensation for hungry himself he feels it. Yes. So, definitely you won't feel it is a different from away from our daily life situation. Yes. But uh, maths teachers will not explain all these things. True. But uh, maths each for each and every one. So, there is a story, interesting story. Yes. So, you can explain it. For example, progression chapter. So, this is a new word. So, everyone knows it the progression, but new word to uh, mm -hmm. So, there is a story is there. So, one is called one king is playing uh, uh, chess with his uh, minister. At the time, one beggar entered the kingdom palace. Okay, he begs something something from him. Okay, then the king said, what do you want? I will give, I will provide. Are you want lands? Are you want uh, uh, palace? Are you want uh, something? Like he asked. No, no, sir. I am a beggar. I, uh, I do not any family also. So, mm. I do not want any uh, money or land, anything. So, I just only to survive myself some food grains is required. Okay. Or how much quantity food grains you require? Whether it is two bags or three bags or four bags, how much quantity you require? I will provide. No need, no need sir. That is, you are playing chess, you know. A chess board have 64 uh, squares. Mm. Put one grain on first, uh, first square, double it. Okay. Okay. How much comes at last the 64th chess? 
square, mm -hmm. how much uh, quantity it will be there, give it to me, okay. like he said. So, means here when you put one grain and one, next one is two, two power two. one, next two one double four. to it, two square, next two cube, okay. two cube means eight, yeah. next sixteen, 16 next thirty-two. 32. Like when you come into the last one, it mm -hmm. becomes as two power sixty-three. Okay. Means here it is uh, uh, more than uh, uh, one billion tons of rice. Okay. So means uh, it's not only uh, required for from him. So even the total kingdom will can survive for one month. Oh my God! See, that's an application. Yes. So like we can say very interesting stories about uh, uh, nice. mathematics also. Yes. How the trigonometry is very important. There is a story about a uh, uh, trigonometry. Trigonometry means you know that. So, when the second world war is going on, mm -hmm. so American wants to drop a bomb on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, yes. everyone knows it. Yes. When you see the distance between Hiroshima and Nagasaki and America, more than uh, 3000 kilometers mm -hmm. and they want to drop an atom bomb on this. So, if they want to drop by using uh, war missiles, so uh, Japan is well advanced in uh, technology, mm -hmm. already they have the radar system, through mm -hmm. radar system they can identify the a war missile and they can blast in air only. Okay. Okay. And it's not a like an art bomb to hold it simply to throw on the Hiroshima and Arasaki. It's not okay. possible. Yeah. So they want to drop it. If there is a small angle of deviation in the projection of the atom bomb, it may drop into sea water or, or it may drop into China or yeah. it may drop into India. Okay. Then the direction of the second world war will be change. Yes. They don't want to do this kind of mistake, then what will you do? When you observe when you observe uh, uh, that our India it comes under the less than 1 degree. So, it is uh, when you consider our Telangana, it is more smaller than as in geographical area of India. Mm. In, when you consider our GHMC, it is more smaller than our Telangana geographical area. Hiroshima and Nagasaki are areas are smaller than our GHMC. Okay. Means a 1 degree, so if you want to drop through 1 degree, it is not possible because a circle is divided into 360 equal parts, each part is called 1 degree. So, the necessity is a mother of invention. At the time, uh, so American people want to do that, the one degree we divided into 60 equal parts. Okay. That is called 60 second minutes. Okay. And each minute is divided into 60 equal parts. Second. And 60 seconds. Okay. 60 we call it as sexa. Okay. So, a sexasmal system is developed. Okay. Okay. By using that, one degree divided into 3600 equal parts, by using uh, crosswires uh, technology, they drop for the Hirosh atom bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and, they, and the remaining story everyone knows it. Yes. Here, sexasmal system is developed as a radian system mm. and the radian system developed as a trigonometry. So, today you are going to learn about trigonometry. When you say this kind of uh, uh, natural things or realistic things, what yeah. will happen? By taking some examples. Yeah, yeah then definitely children feels that mathematics how interesting it is. Okay. So, it depends on the uh, of course, uh, teaching. Uh, teaching strategy. So, maths is not a dry subject and uh, it is a very good subject, very interesting subject. That is the reason one of the uh, greatest people said uh, getting enjoyment by listening uh, classical music is the same uh, getting enjoyment by doing mathematics. Okay. So, classical music when you consider class, what, uh, classical music there are seven words like sari, gamma, padanisa. <laughs> They elongated so many times and um, they feel that it is a classical music. <laughs> so, there is no meaning for it like they will say. But when you know the depths of the classical music, yeah. the classical music Definitely used for the enjoy. as music therapy. Dr. Balamurli Krishna used it as Mangalam Pali Balamurli Krishna used it as for musical therapy. Yes. Because you knows, he knows the depths of the even who knows the depths of the mathematics, they can enjoy by mathematics. You can use yeah. for mathematics as a therapy also. Okay. Such a greatness okay. is there. So, definitely this therapy can be used to all the things. So, very, very important. Okay, so, maths is always a very good thing and very useful things also. Okay. So, interesting. Okay. So, say about different resources of teaching mathematics. Yeah, this is the most important actually. So, two days back in the live class, I, I showed all the uh, things here. We have uh, three kinds of resources. You know that the first one is in the form of books. And the second one is in the form of uh, uh, digital form and the third one is in the form of uh, websites. Already I said the books, very useful books are uh, when you consider for algebra, there is an elementary algebra is there written by uh, Holland Knight and higher algebra is there, it is uh, meant for uh, um, V. A. Kretschmer, this one written by V. A. Kretschmer 
and a geometry, a school geometry was there. It is written by uh, Stephen and Knight. And uh, uh, challenges and thrills in pre-college mathematics is there. That is uh, written by Janardhan and Krishnamurti. These are the uh, very good reference books for it. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, some other books also, like uh, Dr. Mal Nanli then Mar Murli Mohanra has written with the playing with mathematics also. Okay. Yeah, and recreation with mathematics is also there. And you know that Atul Gupta has written uh, as uh, Vedic mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, Vedic mathematics is a very important book. That <coughs> book is used to uh, gear up and speed up of the calculations also in a simplest way. And there is a speed mathematics is there. And there is abacus is there to get the basics of mathematics uh, easily. Okay. So all this comes as the resources. This is in the form of books. And the digital format means here already we started uh, a TROER, prior we call it as, means Telangana Repository of Open Educational Resources. So we developed a recent website for it. So there uh, uh, our uh, resource persons of SCRT and other people who have uploaded their classes, uh, live classes, digital classes, like everything. And even the teacher also, student also, anyone can upload their of course, videos are their uh, contributions. This is one thing. And uh, national government also started NRO year. So, National Repository of Open Education Resources, it is uh, observed by the NCRT. Okay, NIAT also will contribute the things. This is in the form of a digital and we gave that in already I said uh, every school is uh, now have the uh, this KN projector uh, so and they have the TVs also. Through these uh, TVs and computers and uh, KN projectors these organizations, site state institutes of education institutes, Softnet, Mon TV, yeah. and other organizations also pro transmitting their live classes, recorded classes. Mm. So through those classes also, the teacher and the student can learn all these things. Okay. And recently, our central government also started uh, e-library. Mm. So in the e-library, crores of books are uh, 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 uploaded. So everyone can then, and you can use the internet. So internet now. Also first, just in, in Google, when you type, which is required to even with the spelling mistake, also, so it comes. It uh, similar pages will be appears, and we can see those things. That will be considered the resources, okay. and math labs also. That we yeah. can use the math lab also resources, and some softwares like GeoGebra. Okay. So GeoGebra is one of the software which is used to construct uh, uh, different kinds of geometrical uh, things. Okay. okay. So this uh, this is a software. And you can use a flash player also. We can use PowerPoint presentation. In PowerPoint presentation, we have the animation, mm. uh, specific animation, not uh, unlimited animation, or some specific animation okay. is there. By using animation also, we can develop uh, the concepts in the digital format. So okay. whether it is in a digital format or in the, in, the, in the form of book or in the form of software and the form of website, we can use all the resources for uh, effect to uh, classroom transaction. That is okay. the most important. Okay. So, say about the equipment of MATLAB. Yeah. So, recently uh, all of you know that I am also familiar with you because uh, I started concept classes through MANA TV for Telangana Social Welfare Exchange Schools. And uh, recently the government also uh, developed the cl classrooms. Okay. So, you know that all these things we applied uh, these concepts. Okay, the, uh, they make it as a mandatory, every school should have a math lab. Okay, okay in, when the math lab, when you, con when you consider the math lab, in the math lab you have uh, various kinds of uh, parts. Uh, one is, uh, you have the geometry box, and the say, second one is, you know that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Okay, GeoGebra, uh, that is very important. GeoBoard is very important. So, GeoBoards are, you know that uh, uh, there are two kinds, one is called uh, rectangular geo board and uh, second one is called circular geo board. So, rectangular geo board or circular geo board is used to uh, construct a sectors, uh, construct a uh, diagram and construct a uh, required one and to find the perimeter and the area of that. And by using geometrical boxes, you can do the constructions also, that is very important. Clear? So, the and we can use the isometric dot paper, this is also one of the tool in the mathematical lab. Isometric because we can't uh, represent a three-dimensional figure on a two-dimensional plane, so we have to represent in a 3D view. Because we are observing recently uh, in the different magazines, in like uh, Balavinodini, which is uh, Inadu special in Adivar, yes. uh, so Sunday. So we can observe those things. There is a 3D view. Some of the people are drawing yeah. a 3D view pictures on a on road. 
Yes. That's how they are uh, drawing the 3D wave sensor. They will first they will make the total road in isometric dark paper. Okay. Then uh, they will show. So uh, that view will be like a three dimension. Okay. So that's a very important. So this all this comes in the math lab. Okay. So already I suggested a, a math lab with a no cost and low cost. Mm. So if the if rooms are not available, for example, take a small room, mm. even a part of the classroom also. Mm. And the first one they have to take one one part of the uh, wall. So half of the part or one fourth of the part of that. So stick the uh, symbols, mathematical symbols, mm. preparing with the uh, thermocol sheets or thick sheets, whatever it may be. Keep it on one side and cover with the uh, one cloth. Mm. Then ask them. So we, there is three kinds of tests. One test is ask them observe the total uh, symbols five minutes for five minutes okay. and ask them to write. It's okay. a test for memory. Yes. Whether how many uh, of course symbols they have to write. Okay, we, that's a memory test. A second level test is ask them to observe it, write the symbol and write the meaning for it. Okay. So means whether the children is aware about the symbols or not, how much they have ever like you can calculate, you can assess. The third level is, is observe it for 5 minutes, ask them to write the symbols, write the meaning. Mm. By using the symbols, construct some mathematical sentences. Yes. So means that if the, this is the third stage, means the children is able to write the uh, mathematical sentences by using the symbols means he is good at mathematics. Like you can test whether the children mm. is good yeah. at and so what extent he is good and how to improve it, what kind of remedial teaching we are going to adopt it like mm. comes under the uh, this, this is the first stage. And second one is the uh, motivation is a very important, means here we will motivate by so, so of course uh, see uh, our Prime Minister Pradhan, uh, it is a um, Modi is uh, saying by radio is uh, every day is of course a uh, man ki baat program yeah. yes, through that he is saying his views means. Mm. So he is um, one of the motivator to all of the public also recent, recently. So means here that like we have a greatest mathematicians. So, um, uh, paste the greatest mathematics photographs and write their profiles, what are their contributions, how it is, because you know that uh, one of the greatest contribution from the Ramanujan, the numbers, a simple number, 1729. 1729 is the four digit number, which is a smaller number, which can be expressed as sum of two cubes in two different ways, 10 cube plus 9 cube and 12 cube plus 1 cube. Like some um, interesting stories also there, you have to display them, the children will read it immediately they may at that particular moment they may feel that I want to become a mathematician like that's a that's a motivating and the next one make it as some uh, in one or two racks and keep some very interesting books okay that's and mathematical equipment mm -hmm. that means mathematical equipment means here geometry box a geo board okay isometric dot paper graph paper and all these things come in the one place so that and make a mathematical tree Okay. Just to take uh, take a tree of course which is dried completely, and take the branches of it. Okay, in each branch they have to pay, paste one uh, part of uh, mathematics or a chapter name, polynomials, progressions, probability, permutations and combinations, partial fractions. See, I'm I'm saying one letter with P. These are the different chapters. Okay. So like there are so many branches of mathematics, so many chapters. They can pay, paste the uh, things in the like as it is a, uh, a simply as a mathematical tree. Like okay. they can create so many things and paper folding techniques. Okay. So, so tanograms. So, yeah. by using tanograms, you can prepare so many things. At the same time, paper folding. By paper folding techniques, you can expand it. So, those things also contributed. So, okay. and wastage material. For example, so a carpenter comes to our home and he did some uh, furniture. The rest of the part, as take those uh, waste pattern and make it as like a semicircle, hemispheo, or sphere, okay, okay, like rectangle. Uh, like you can uh, have take um, make a cylinder. When you cut it into one third, it becomes as a cone. Yes. Uh, how the cone is connected with the uh, uh, cylinder? Like all these things will be done in the uh, math lab. That's uh, okay. it, which is interesting. Well, Suresh Kumar Garu, thank you so much for giving such a valuable information about mathematics. Thank, thank you. you. So, this is the special live show about uh, Gurukula Math. Thanks for watching.